Rich Thomas Weather Network is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it's the 12th day of April. I've been uh, up for a lot of hours watching uh, the radar and several computer screens for you. A little blurry-eyed, but such is the nature of my business. I'm over on Eve right here because it's still raining out here. We've had excessive rainfall in the overnight hours, so it's kind of a mixed bag on the news this morning. Yes, we've had excessive rainfall, but no severe weather overnight. And I think the severe weather threat for today is just about negligible. The latest on that from the Storm Prediction Center coming up. We're not through with the rain for this week. The latest on your rain chances, and we'll look ahead to what's shaping up to be a great weekend. Are you ready? Here we go. A messy situation this morning. Look at all the rain. Stretch from uh, Louisiana and Mississippi across Alabama into Georgia and beyond. Uh, it's a wet morning commute for many, and these are the overnight rainfall totals. Two to three inches where you see red, three to four inches where you see the pinks, and more than four inches around Marion. A very excessive rainfall situation, so watch for ponding on the roads this morning. But the good news is the Storm Prediction Center has taken us out of the severe weather risk for today. Only South Texas in the risk zone. That's good news. 8 o'clock this morning, here's future radar. Many places still getting wet. Central and South Alabama. Uh, the drenching rains are heading south and by 10 o'clock, most of the heavier rains in South and Southeast Alabama. But a few leftover showers. You see a few blips on the radar at 10 o'clock and at 2 o'clock this afternoon. So we can't rule out a few showers during the day, but the main activity will be this morning, 6 p.m. tonight. Most of the rain is down in South Alabama, so we get a break this evening, and that's good news for Biscuits Baseball. More on that in a moment. Showers and thunderstorms mostly this morning for the morning commute, tapering off by the afternoon hours and shifting south. 75 the high, 55 the low tonight. Winds shifting to the northwest by afternoon. Biscuits Baseball time, first pitch, 71 degrees. I think skies will be mostly cloudy, but we should be dry at Riverwalk by then. We're looking at uh, Wednesday, another disturbance brush rushing by the area, and by evening, a good chance of showers and thunderstorms again across the area. Scattered on Thursday, nothing severe expected, just showers and thunderstorms with the disturbance along the Gulf Coast. And Friday, maybe a leftover shower or two. The rain chance is relatively small, but that clears out by the weekend. There may be a few clouds left over Saturday. I'll call it partly sunny, mid-70s for a high temperature. But I think uh, Sunday is definitely the pick of the litter. Mostly sunny, upper 70s. Should be great. So let's summarize for you the next few days. Scattered showers from time to time, Wednesday and Thursday. You see the rain chances running 50 to 70% and then 50% Thursday. A 20% chance of a leftover shower, shower Friday, low 70s. And then Saturday, mid-70s, partial sunshine, upper 70s Sunday. And then next week, a big ridge of high pressure builds in the upper atmosphere. So temperatures are going to be warming up quite a bit. You'll see that in just a moment. Let's look at the European model. These uh, The first global model there. You see the wet period at times, Wednesday through Friday. You see more rain about the middle of next week around Wednesday. You see that very warm week next week on the European. What about the GFS, the American model? You see the cooler temperatures ahead for um, you know Thursday and Friday. Then you see the warm-up as we get into the weekend, especially on Sunday, and a big warm-up next week. And for much of the next 16 days, according to the uh, that particular model. Have you checked out our website yet? RichThomasWeatherNetwork.com. You can get all the videos, all my posts on Facebook and Twitter. You get um, your hourly forecast, your extended forecast, uh, and so much more. Plus, you can sign up for text alerts, too. And the app coming soon will mirror the website. Go to richthomasweathernetwork.com. It's one-stop shopping for weather. Yeah, so watch out for the ponding on the roadways this morning with the excessive rainfall overnight. There's bound to be some problems, especially on the secondary roads. I'm about to leave this remote weather center and travel to the Blue Water Weather Center about eight minutes away from right now. I'll be tracking the rain and thunderstorms for that morning commute on the radar. See you on the radio at 6. Your next complete morning video will be online by, let's say, 445 uh, tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Rich Thomas Weather.